Alrighty, hello everybody. So I am back with a color update on this unit. This hair was never meant to go blonde. I never had the intention of making this unit blonde, but here we are. This isn't going to be the final, final look of this unit either. I mean, for the most part, I'm done and it will be boxed up and gift, gifted, but I'm actually gonna take it here. So it's gonna be this. Bam, 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 bam. So it's gonna be this. The blonde, for the most part, is gonna be gone. Um, I actually ended up over processing this hair. So yes, this hair takes color beautifully, but it can be pushed too far and it has pretty much the ends at least has gone to the point of no return where it's like breaking off and brittle. Um, I've colored this hair uh, one, two, maybe four times. I've bleached this hair three times. Um, I was very careful the first few times. The, when I colored the hair initially, it was fine. There was not a whole lot of damage, but it was when I got into the bleaching. Um, in the final stage, I actually ended up forgetting, um, or I was watching TV and I kind of forgot about the bleach and I left it on there too long. So the last bleaching session kind of um, ruined the integrity of the hair on the ends. Because this hair, I kind of did like a halo effect. The inside of the hair, most of this hair is still actually very dark. Um, so it's kind of just like the outside of this hair that just has all the color on it. And so I'll just show you what this hair looks like. I don't know how it looks in the back, but this is the hair from the back. But pretty much everything that's like a platinum blonde, I don't know, I mean this camera, I'm using my phone, so the color isn't gonna be as perfect. Um, but the ends are very, very, very blonde. Um, even after toning it down, um, but pretty much everything that's blonde, for the most part, will be getting trimmed off and it will be getting shorter. So this layer right here, this is where I kind of want all of the hair to be. Um, but from the wefts, the wefts are still good. Um, there's now, there's, there is shedding, but it's more due to the bleach and it's just the blonde pieces. Like I just got, um, some hair and that's mostly due to the bleaching. Um, so everything that's shedding, it well, it's not shedding, it's breaking off at the ends, um, which I will be cutting and then I think that will, um, ease all of the breakage on the ends. Um, but there's not, not a, still not a whole lot of shedding from the hair, even though I did cut the west at the top um, while making this unit. Um, the hair's still really in great condition where I didn't color the hair at all or where I only colored it once or twice. The hair is still in really good condition. It is honestly just the ends where I bleached it. So I most definitely recommend this hair. Um, it's a really good hair and 150 for four 20 inch bundles of really good quality hair is very rare. So when you can jump on that opportunity, I most definitely would do that. And another thing that initially made me go in and color it a little bit more is that after I had um, colored it the first time, it didn't lift. And I was a little concerned if this hair was uh, unprocessed hair. Um, 
because you know fillers can be put in different donors that situation you kind of don't know what kind of bundle you're getting all of the time from places like aliexpress um so after i bleached it again the color became more uniformed um and once i actually bleached the hair um the first initial time um all the ends were blonde there was no um usually you can tell when there's like filler hair or hair from different donors because if you look at the hair closely if you bleached your hair if you look at the hair closely you can see that some parts some strands are going to be completely bleached and then other strands are going to be like black or like maybe light brown and that's when you're kind of gonna be a little bit more concerned if the hair is actually virgin hair because good quality hair it should all color the same level there should be no you shouldn't have bleached the whole head and some of your hairs are coming out this color, some of your hairs are coming out that color, unless that's the look that you're going for and you did it intentionally. But if you're wanting a lighter color all around and you bleach the hair, you should get one specific color. And that's what I got when I bleached it the second time around. I did go for kind of like a balayage-esque um ombre look um it's way more ombre than balayage how i planned it but hey that's okay so like i was saying this hair does take to color very well i do have a small clip of what the hair looks like when i first colored it um it came out like a natural orangey copper almost So that was the color that wasn't the color that I was going for. I wanted something way more beige, way more ashed out, way more neutral. So I kept going on and I ended up here somewhere after that point in time. So this hair does take to bleach very well. Make sure you are watching your hair when you are bleaching um, or you will lose some of the integrity of the hair like I did, all right? So please learn from my mistakes and others on YouTube that have overprocessed their hair. Um, thank goodness I just did the ends and the ends are the only thing that's causing me any major problems. Um, Cause had I done this to the whole unit, I would have had to just thrown away the whole unit. And that would have been like, oh. Um, but yes, so this is the unit and the color. Hey guys, I don't even know if you guys can tell right now, but I just like went in and cut it a little bit shorter. Um, I don't know if you can tell if it's shorter, but to kind of give you guys a reference of the, of the look I was going for, the character that played Dawn Summers on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, season seven, cause I'm kind of binge watching that right now. Um, that kind of gives you an idea of who inspired this look. Um, the actress that I can't think of her name right now um, has really thick hair. And almost like a boxy kind of hairline um, and it was almost kind of like pushed back 
um, ever so slightly in the front half the time. And then she would like have like a simple curl or bump on the ends. And later in the season, her hair was like highlighted. Um, but she always had like a really thick head of hair. And that's kind of like who this inspiration was from. Um, so this one, throw that in there. But this hair, this hair is not bone straight. This actually has a decent wave to it. Um, decent enough to call this wavy hair instead of uh, natural instead of straight um, maybe if it was considered like a natural straight but this does have a wavy texture once it's wet but it's still after like freshly washing the hair and then curling it it still wouldn't hold a curl when before it was colored but now that it's colored and it's a little rougher um, and a little bit more texture it holds a really really nice curl now Yep, I tripped. But yeah, it holds a really nice curl. So if you guys have any other questions, just leave them down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I just wanna thank you guys so much um, for viewing my two Halo Lady videos. Those are like the most views out of any videos that I've done on here. Um, so I just wanna thank all of you guys for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.